Hey everyone, it's Zara and I'm back to film a monthly plan with me. This is going to be for the month of May and I do have a Disney themed kit because originally this is going to be when we went to Disney. Our trip did get cancelled um, but I still had the kit so I'm gonna use it. Um, the week that we were supposed to be in Disney we ended up doing like a Disney themed like date night um, every day and so um, or Disney themed activities every day um, and so it did kind of still work out um, in terms of having um, you know Disney theming in what we did but uh, this kit is from Kimmy's studio I've never used one of her kits before I don't think I have I, I think I bought a weekly kit but I can't remember if I've used it from her yet um, but this one is just a monthly kit so we have the um, days to cover up not in the month and it was perfect for me because then you have the whole castle will be right there and then this will be on the side and then we have some date numbers uh, some boxes bill dues uh, some vacation strips some text stickers then we have some boxes to cover up you know important days or you know days that you want to add a little bit more pizzazz to and then you have the checklist to put on the side so just a three page kit um, these colors are very unique and bright um, so it'll be fun to plan with it um, but yeah I'm just going to lay down the basis of the kit and then we will get into the day by day okay there's everything laid down so far um, these boxes are, are quite light um, and I'm not sure I think she has this is matte paper I think she has glossy paper as well so I'm not sure if it shows up darker on those papers um, but they're very you know kind of like fade into the background kind of splashes of color um, so moving on to the first the first we had um, picked up dinner from a local bakery in town that did a lot of like meals during um, like the shutdown and so they had this special date date night this date night special I guess that you could get and you had like salads two fancy entrees really fancy desserts um, and it was just really cute because you could just basically bring it home and have date night at home so this sticker is from oh hello Michelle um, to mark that then on to the second it was my parents dogs uh, his adoptiversary um, and then it was also our Mexico date, um, so we made tacos, or no, we made fajitas, um, we watched Little of Nice Maluna, and we bought the version that didn't have subtitles, and had to watch it in Spanish, and it's been a really long time since I've taken Spanish, but it was still really fun. So that taco sticker is from Bubba Bear Studios, and then the um, dog sticker is a custom from Stationery Wonderland. Uh, so then on to the third, I made the world's best lasagna, and it's um, a recipe you can find online. Um, it was so good. Now, my sister, I can't remember if she just found it or if someone had recommended it to her. Um, and so she made it, and then she told us about it, and then my mom made it, I made it, and my grandma made it, and we all really loved it. Um, it's on all recipes, I believe, if you like Google world's best lasagna. But it was delicious and it really wasn't too hard to make you basically just simmer the sauce for a really long time um but it's not necessarily like you're doing things the whole time um so this lasagna sticker is from happy diet so then on to the fourth uh the fourth <laughs> i was watching old yeller um and my fiance was like, oh yeah, I'll hold your hand through the sad part, because I, you know, I debated whether or not I even wanted to watch it, but I was doing a Disney movie a day, and um, then he had a meeting, and he left right when the sad part was coming on. So this is a sad Tara um, from what, a Pumpkin Paper Co. And then on to the fifth. The fifth I had, um, it was my two-year graduation anniversary, so... I graduated from pharmacy school two years before um, and so I have this little graduation cap from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark that in um, and then on the sixth um, 
we had to do some extra cleaning at work. Uh, oh wait, no, the seventh we did that. So I was like, why am I, why do I have all this th stuff? So we had just like extra cleaning at work. So I'm just gonna put this clean sticker because um, we ended up shutting it down a little earlier. Um, but then since I was like, you can't have anyone in the pharmacy without the pharmacist. So I had to stay behind um, while the cleaners came. But basically like we just had a deep cleaning of the whole store. Um, and then on the 6th, um, we had pizza that we ordered for one of my technician's birthdays. Um, and that pizza sticker is from Bubba Bear Studios. I'm not sure where the clean sticker is from. It was from a leftover or like a sampler. Um, and then on to the 8th. The 8th was my grandma's birthday. Um, and so I have this little birthday balloon sticker. Um, and then um, I have this face mask sticker. Um, someone was getting tested and they ended up being negative. And so I just have that to mark in the negative test. And then on to the ninth. Um, the ninth, we went to my grandparents' house. Um, I'm trying to figure out how I want this. I think I have to go like this. Um, but I went to my grandparents' house and um, it was also our Adventureland date. So I have Peter Pan because that's who I dressed up as. That one's from Rory's Sweet Addictions. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned, but those balloons were from Jalen Paper Co. This road is from Exo Mama Plans, I believe. Um, and yeah, we just went to my grandparents' house because it had been my grandma's birthday this day and it was Mother's Day on Sunday. Um, and so did like a social distance visiting because um, she had been getting kind of sad with not being able to see people. Um, and so tried to do just like a little visit. Um, and then we also brought them a new computer because their computer was so old that Windows wasn't supporting it anymore. So definitely needed. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna squeeze all of that into this little box. So then on to the 10th, the 10th was um, our uh, boardwalk date. Um, there's an area in Disney called the boardwalk that I've never been to, but we had planned on having like dinner there and, you know, drinks and everything. Um, so I have a flounder sticker also from Rory's Sweet Addictions, um, just to mark that down because boardwalk, the sea, that kind of a thing. And then I have a house sticker because we did a drive by at my fiance's mom's house or family's house for Mother's Day. Um, and that one is from Planner Esque, who I do have a coupon code for down below. So then on to the 11th. The 11th was our, our Animal Kingdom date. And so I have these um, Lion King stickers from Once More With Love to mark that in. Um, I dressed up as Mufasa that day. And by dressing up, it's, I don't know, it's um, like Disney bounding. So it's basically um, like you're wearing a Disney inspired outfit. And so it's not like I was actually dressed up like a lion, but I just wore like colors. And um, like for this day, I have like this cardigan that has like some fringe on it. And it's kind of that rust orange color. Um, and then I think I wore, um, like a dress that had oranges and reds in it. Um, and then I had like a necklace that had a, like, tooth on it, like a fang. It sounds, I'm uh, you know, anyways, it's more interesting than it probably sounds with me describing it. But, um, basically each day I did some sort of a fun outfit just to kind of get in the spirit, um, for, you know, Disney. Because this, uh, the ninth I, was when we would have left for Disney. So it was this whole, um, you know, nine day period that we did all of our Disney themed things. So then on to the 12th. Uh, the 12th was our uh, animal or our um, Toy Story date. And then this day we also had our grass seed installed. 
And so I just have Ducky and Bunny from Toy Story. This one is also from Once More With Love. They just match the colors really well. We just watched the original Toy Story though. And then I'll just mark the grass and then our Toy Story date in there. Um, and then on to the 13th. Uh, the 13th was our pri princess date. Um, I obviously had to be Princess Belle because she's my favorite uh, Disney princess um, ever. So that was uh, my costume of choice. And then um, this Tara is from uh, Pumpkin Paper Co. I don't know why I always want to say Once More With Love, but I think I'm just so used to saying Once More With Love for all these stickers. So then on to the 14th. The 14th was our Harry Potter date, um, which would have been our day that we were uh, outside of the Disney parks. Um, so I have this like ginormous sticker. Um, it's from um, The Littlest Planner. It's a really old sticker, um, but she basically has the Patronus. Um, and then we have, on the 15th, um, we had our Epcot date, um, and then we also found out that our hours were changing, which is a total bummer, but, I mean, at this point it's already happened, but, um, this date was the day that we found out that we were not going to be, um, that we were going to be open 8 o'clock in the morning to 10 o'clock, so an extra two hours a day. So I think, I think I had pulled this munchkin to put on our cleaning sticker, and then I have this like crying munchkin to put down for our hours change announcement. Um, and then this day, I think I mentioned that it was our Epcot date, so I dressed up as um, Snow White partially because I have a yellow skirt and I don't know what else I'd do with it. Um, and so, um, and plus I figure, you know, she's Germany, um, kind of makes sense. So then on to the 16th, the 16th was our like classic Mickey Mouse, uh, Disney characters, Fab Five kind of a date. Um, and I, and I found out that I don't have enough red items in my closet. So I ended up um, dressing up as Donald and I think I've already used my Donald sticker so I have this Daisy Tsum Tsum from the same sheet as the Peter Pan and Flounder um, from Rory's Sweet Addictions uh, just to mark that in um, and then on the 17th that would have been our last day and that would have been um, or that we did our Star Wars date because they had a ton of new Star Wars themed uh, things that have happened in Disney in like the last year or so um, and so my fiance is a big Star Wars fan and we would have been doing a lot of it. Um, so this, um, Millennium Falcon, I think, is from, uh, The Littlest Planner as well. So then on to the 18th. So I cooked, like, all of this week, all of the meals. We did, like, Disney-inspired recipes. I had a lot of cooking that I did. So then this week, my fiance was was like, oh, I'll cook for you. And so I was like, thank goodness. So um, I just wanted to mark down that he said that he would cook for me this week, um, which was just a nice treat. He usually cooks for me, you know, one or two nights a week. Um, but I, I told him, I was like, you gotta cook for me. Um, and he was much, much obliging. Um, so then on to the 19th i just had like a really lazy day um just kind of binged some tv and um, i think i was catching up on episodes of top chef um so i just have this tv sticker from bubba bear studios to mark that in and then on to the 20th uh the 20th we found out that we were going to be getting a lunch break um which is kind of interesting um you know it's good and and um I don't know, good and bad, pros and cons. Um, we get a lunch break on the weekends, but we don't get it on the weekdays because they say that we have enough staff to cover, um, you know, breaks. But in reality, you don't really ever take breaks because it's busy. So it's kind of one of those, well, you know, and then um, 
my pharmacy manager, she said, well, you know, then you're going to get backed up. And then when you come back from lunch, it's going to be so busy and you'll have to, you know, catch up from that half an hour that you weren't in there. And so it's kind of like, you know, pros and cons, but it's very nice on the weekends because there is only one pharmacist that covers on the weekends. Um, so I just used this kind of like thoughtful munchkin to mark that in because it was kind of like, you know, I like this, but then we don't get it every day, but then do we want it every day? And, you know, kind of a thing like that. And then when I got home from work this day, it was busy. If I remember correctly, it was a kind of busy, stressful day at work. All I wanted to do was go home and do nothing. Um, but then when I got home, my neighbors had like gathered all of their chairs in the cul-de-sac um, and made a big circle um, so that they could do like a social distanced cocktail hour. So I have this wine sticker from Planner Kate to mark down that we, um, that we just joined in on the cul-de-sac happy hour. Um, even though I didn't really want to be social, it was very fun. Um, apologies if you could hear my dog like scratching in the background. She got a lot of bug bites when we were on our like trip to the lake over 4th of July weekend. And so she is a little itchy. Um, so then on this day, my fiance made us pork chops and they were so good. I don't even know what he put in these pork chops, but they were delicious. So I just have this little like meal sticker from Paper Bow Prince, who is no longer open um, to mark that in. And then on to the 22nd, um, I think I just played some Animal Crossing that day. It was Friday. I just wanted to be lazy. So I have this Paper Shire Switch sticker to mark that in. Then on to the 23rd, we power washed our deck um, in preparation for getting it stained because that was something that we've been meaning to do for a while. Um, and so I have this um, like spray bottle sticker. This is from Pink Popsicle Studio, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where that's from. So then on to the 24th, um, my fiance's family visited. Um, hmm. Oh, I also put on for this day that we had like the longest nap ever. We went to bed at like two o'clock and didn't wake up until like five, five thirty, something crazy like that. Um, so I put in this like nap sticker from uh, the Littlest Planner and then I didn't realize that I have no room on the 24th, so I'm going to opt for uh, two things to mark that we just clean, deep cleaned our house um, because his family was coming to um, do like a social distance visit. And so even though they wouldn't be inside our house, we have windows, I figured they could probably see, see in and I didn't want them to see all my clutter. Um, so I'll take that part out and just leave that they came and visited us. And then this salad sticker is from the sticker party because they brought us Panera. Um, so then on to the 25th, I had the day off and we played this, um, video game and it made me really nauseous because, um, I think just like the, the way the, that you played it and it just, it made me motion sick. So I have this bean sticker from Sweet Bean Plans to mark down that we played a game and it made me feel not so good. Um, and then on to the 26th. Um, I, we finished an audiobook that we had been listening to, um, it wasn't, it was okay. It wasn't my favorite audiobook ever, um, but, but it was interesting. Um, it was called Before the Fall. Um, and then on to the 27th, my, uh, my dog. I was doing a puzzle and I swear she kept eating puzzle pieces. Then when I got done with the puzzle, I only had one piece that was gone. So I think she ate one piece, but I, I was totally under the impression that she ate more. Um, so I just wanted to write down that we had struggles. Um, this puzzle sticker is from Paper Shire. And then I didn't mention, but this reading girl is from a shop that's no longer open. So then on to the 28th. Uh, the 28th, it was just really busy at work. We were shorthanded. Um, and then when I got home, so this day they announced that Disney would be open during our, uh, like, rescheduled trip dates. Um, but then on this day, the 28th, 
they announced that they were canceling all of our dining reservations um, and like we would have to rebook them. And so I kind of, this is when I started thinking maybe we wouldn't go to Disney again just because it takes a lot of planning and then to have them like cancel all your plans and say that you need to like redo them. And I get why they do it, but, um, and then my fiance was saying that he didn't feel comfortable going to Disney and, and flying and everything yet. Um, so in the end we ended up canceling our trip, but this was the day that I started like, oh, maybe it won't work out. Um, so then I just had the sad munchkin and then the hang in there munchkin from Once More With Love. Then on to the 29th. It was my sister's birthday, um, which was great, um, but then we had just some things going on in our family um, that just caused a lot of drama that day, a lot of, um, yeah, just a lot of stuff. I won't go into details, but I had this sad munchkin because it was just not a great night. So, um, and then this happy birthday stickers from Jalen Paper Co. Then on to the 30th, we stained our deck, which was much needed. Um, and I'll just put that little paintbrush from Bubba Bear Studios over there. It took a lot of work and it was a lot of fun. Um, and then on to the 31st, um, I got called into work. Oh, because my fiance, or my fiance, my boss, or my um, pharmacy manager, she had to take her son to urgent care. And so I offered to cover her shift for a couple of hours while she took him in. Um, so I just have this uh, stethoscope sticker from, I don't remember where that's from. It was from a sampler. And then I also called one of my best friends, but I don't have room to mark that. So anyways, that is everything so far. Let me just fill everything out and I'll be right back. Okay, there is everything all filled out. I like the way this turned out, even though it's, um, you know, a little bit pastel. It's kind of bright at the same time. It's almost like a neon pastel. Um, so definitely not colors I'm usually used to using. Um, but I also pulled in, you know, a lot of colorful stickers as well, um, which I always like to do. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching and I will just see you guys later. Bye now.